Do you have a CNC machine or know somebody who does? Well, here are 10 great gift ideas just for that person. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Number one, in no particular order, is this right here. Now this is a hose that would go on your dust collection or your vacuum. In my case, I have a rigid vacuum from Home Depot. It's a two and a half gallon, and it goes into one of those cyclone dust collector thingamajiggers. And this actually goes up to the top of the CNC. Goes right into the boot, whoop. It's super flexible and it's clear so you can see through it. This is a two and a half inch diameter. They make other ones and it's 10 feet long and a great gift if you don't have one of these for your CNC. The next thing on the list is this caliper right here. I suggest a good pair of calipers anytime you're using a CNC, 3D printer, laser, anything like that. And this one right here I found to be pretty dang good. It's only about $30 on Amazon. Now, I know there's way more expensive ones and way less expensive ones. You can get into them for about $10 if you really want to, uh, and those aren't too bad. But these are stainless steel. It comes with all the measurements and measuring stuff you need, and they're really heavy duty. Inches, millimeters, all the good stuff right on here. And it comes with two extra batteries, so one installed, and two extra, so this thing is gonna be going for quite a long time. I really like this caliper. You can find it in the link below. And another cool thing, on the back, it has conversions, and those are awesome. Number three, if you're just getting into CNC milling like me, you don't wanna spend a ton of money on bits yet, or end mills, whatever you wanna call them. In this video, I'm gonna call them bits, why not? I actually found this set right here. It's by Speed Tool. It's on Amazon, again, in the link in the description below. And it comes with a great assortment of bits to get you started. This was only like $85. It came with eight different bits to start you out, uh, or end mills, whatever you want to call them. And I really like the assortment, up cuts, down cuts, eighth inch, all the good stuff is gonna be in this starter kit. And they've been pretty good for me so far. So if you need a starter kit, or know someone who might want a cool starter kit, these right here, Speed Tools. With the last one comes this one. When you're starting out, you probably don't have a flattening bit to flatten your wasteboard yet. Well, I found this one right here. It is actually really nice. It comes in a nice hard plastic case. If you open it up, it even has another collet in there if you need it. And the bit itself is pretty good. I've used it uh, one time to flatten my wasteboard. It did a very good job. The price on this is definitely right. If you know somebody just getting into this or that doesn't have the flattening bit yet, this one right here will do you good. The fifth thing on my list is these awesome parts by Rowdy Roman. If you haven't checked out Rowdy Roman's website, you definitely should do that. Look in the description below for that link. If you have a 3D printer, you can check out Etsy. The parts are $2. You can get them and print them yourself. They're really cool. Also, he has a bunch of really cool stuff for the Onefinity uh, and probably some other stuff on his website as well. Like this is a really cool light that goes around the router and allows to light up the workspace while your router's moving. There's gonna be a video on this coming soon. Also, the hose boom, you got mounts, all sorts of really cool stuff. So check out Rowdy Roman's Etsy or website to find all this cool stuff. So check out Rowdy Roman's website or Etsy to find this really cool stuff for your CNC. Number six on my list is this x Fasten Carpenter Tape. It is double-sided, it is super sticky, and it's a pretty good thickness. I've been using it on all of the carving project I've been doing on my new Onefinity Machinist CNC, which is an awesome CNC, by the way. Thanks, Onefinity. This stuff is really cool. It You lay it down on the back of your uh, material, you peel off the yellow backing, and that creates the double stick. You stick it down to your wasteboard, and you're good to go. This has not released on me yet, and it is super strong. I like to use it down the center of my objects, so if I carve anything out, it actually holds it down. The part doesn't go flying out, and I haven't had to use tabs so far when using this. Now, I know a lot of people use blue tape and glue, and that is totally cool too, but this stuff eliminates the need for that glue. It comes in this or wider sizes, and this actually came in a three pack, and it's much cheaper to buy this than the tape and the glue, so give it a try. This is the X Fasten Carpenter Tape. Check it out. 
The next thing on my list, which is number seven, is this right here. Now this is a switchable power strip. These things are awesome, I use them on my lasers, and now on the CNC, you plug your pieces in here, and then each one, each device has its own switch. So if you just wanna turn the router on, uh, go ahead. If you wanna turn the vacuum on, you can do that too. You can just use the vacuum if you want. If you have lights that like in an enclosure or maybe the Rowdy Roman ring light for the router, you can just turn that on as well. But you don't have to have it all on if you don't want to, and you don't have to have it all off if you don't want to either. So check out, so check out this switchable power strip. You definitely won't be disappointed. Number eight on my list are these Ryobi tools right here. Now, it could be any wireless tools, uh, but I love Ryobi. I have a ton of their stuff, uh, drills, saws, all the good stuff. And they're all the 18 volt, which uses this battery right here. This is a 18 gauge Brad nailer. Uh, the 23 gauge pin nailer would be perfect for this situation as well. But this is the one I had, so I used this one. What's cool is I can use this to nail stuff down to the wasteboard if I don't wanna use the tape. And I can use this to put stuff together when I'm done as well. When I'm done with that, I just pop the battery out. I drop it into this sander here and you're good to go. You just hit this button. Woo! <laughs> and you're off in the sanding races. These are really cool tools, super convenient because you don't have air hoses or power cords or anything like that, especially if you already use Ryobi 18 volt tools. These things are great gifts for anyone in that category. Number nine on my list are these sanding sponges right here. I love these things. In this one right here, you get six different sanding sponges all the way from 60 to 320 grit. You open it up, you actually get a tack cloth with it as well. Each one of these can be used for wet or dry sanding and they look like this. So you can really get in there, you can hold on to it and it's also kind of squishy so it's not so hard like a block. Uh, these things are awesome. I use them on a lot of stuff, woodworking and otherwise. Again, you can use them in wet and dry conditions. And since you get six of them in different grits, it's a perfect kit. And the price is great on these as well. So definitely check out these awesome sanding sponges. Last but not least, uh, number 10 is some sort of dust vortex or dust stopper or whatever you want to call them. They go between the machine and the shop back. If you're using a shop back like I am on my little machinist Onefinity CNC router, this actually grabs all of the big stuff. It lets it fall into here and doesn't allow it to go to the shop back to get all clogged up into that filter. This thing is pretty dang awesome. If you are using a shop back on your CNC, and you don't have some sort of dust stopper like this one is, or a vortex, or any of those, I definitely suggest this thing. This really does catch a ton of stuff before it ever gets to your shop vac, leaving that almost untouched and the filters stay good for so much longer. When you're ready, you just pop the top off this, you dump it out or dispose of the sawdust and chunks that are in here and you're good to go. You just put the lid back on and rock and roll. I do have to say the bucket's not included in most cases, so grab a nice heavy duty five gallon bucket. Uh, you want to make sure they're heavy duty, otherwise these things will crush in under the pressure of that vacuum. So definitely check out one of these. I must have if you're using a shop vac on your CNC. So there you have it. That was 10 really great gifts that you could get somebody who loves CNC machines. If they're just starting out, a lot of times they probably won't have some of this stuff. Uh, if it's yourself, give this to somebody else and let them watch it for gift ideas for you. Everything we talked about has a link in the description below. A lot of it's on Amazon, so check it out there. I have an Amazon storefront with everything in there. Uh, also, I just wanna say thank you so much to Onefinity, again, for shooting me over the Machinist, which is an amazing little CNC, 16 by 16 surfacing area. It's a perfect fit for my little shop here. I hope this helped your gift buying ideas for the season, and we'll see you next time.